Hey gang, it's me again. It's just an update. Today is Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Yes. And I'm on half a day. Whoop. And the plan is, let's pump the chair up there. Saturday, I'm going to the lakes with my partner, the lovely Carla. And I'm climbing Helvellyn, which from my oh, bloody hell, it's gone over again. Crikey. Right, let's sort this bugger out. There we go. So the plan is to climb Helvellyn, which I believe is the second highest mountain in the lakes. Might be the third, I think Scarfell. Not Scarfell Pine, but Scarfell is the second highest. I could be wrong. Um, so when we climb Helvellyn, I won't be going up, going up the striding edge route because it's pretty dangerous. Um, just given the time of year, because we are still coming up to the, what, the, what? the end of Feb. So, yeah. See how, I, see how it is on the day. Um, so that's that. I'll do a bit of re review of the campsite I'm staying to. And that's the site side. I'll put the links and everything below. I'll include a link to the old Just Giving page. We're at £403 now, which is great. The last donation, I believe, was Phil Pemberton, former employee. Um, former employee? What am I about? A former colleague who worked with me. If he was a former employee, that would, that would imply that I employed him, which isn't the case. Um, so, a big shout out to Phil. He put me down for 20 quid, which is great. I even had a donation of £3, which I'm not complaining about three pound is great because the guy who donated it, correct me if I'm wrong, Andrew, Andrew Dolby, I don't think I know him. So I think this chap, this gentleman, has seen my post, probably floating around on LinkedIn or he's caught it somewhere else when it's been shared about. And he's donated three quid, which is great. He's already got in the gift aid added on to that. And it all adds up, it all adds up because I've worked it out with a bit of mathematics. French, you know, um, and ideally, I need to be fundraising 500 quid each month. Um, doesn't have to be, but I want to be earning, earning, I want to be raising, not earning, it, it's not mine. I want to be raising 5,000 pounds, that's 5,000 pounds, five grand for the year for Mind, the mental health charity, uh, just because it's a great charity, it's a great cause, and kind of resonates with some of the stuff that I've been through and a lot of the stuff, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the information on their site is great, absolutely great, um, you know, so have a look at it, even if you weren't finding yourself in a mental health pickle, it's just good to read it because it might help you recognise when a colleague or a co-worker or a partner or a friend or whatnot might be struggling with something mental health related and it might help you just identify some of the signs and just say everything all right you know i'm here if you want to chat which is what it's all about opening that the gob and speaking what's on their mind because otherwise stuff like that happens your camera goes flying no it doesn't um you know otherwise you bottle it up and you don't go for you definitely not good for you. If you've got an unhealthy mind, you end up with an unhealthy body because you end up making stupid decisions, rash decisions, stuff which plays on your mind, starts affecting your work life, your home life, albeit, you know, other things in life, and it's not good whatsoever. So, happy mind, happy body, Oof. check out them swans, yeah means a happy human so in that case I'll be up to Helvellyn on Saturday and I'll do a video while I'm heading up there when I say up there not while I'm driving I mean like while I'm heading up the mountain down the mountain during the mountain whatever um, and also I want to set a challenge if I can raise 50 quid by Saturday, by the time I've got there, 
I'll take a plunge in Brothers Water Lake Reservoir or any sort of lake or reservoir which is deep enough for me to kind of submerge myself up to me, my neck or you know, maybe go fully under with my head um, because the likelihood is there's not going to be any rusty shopping carts and shopping trolleys up there for me to get caught up in um, so I'll be alright, I've had my injections polio boosters up to date and meningitis and whatnot. so I'm sorted, I'm sorted for this um, you know, what's the worst that can happen? I swallow a mouthful of sheep piss. You know, not gonna kill me. I hope. Um, anyway, 50 quid. If we can get it, you know, we're halfway there to 500, 450 quid we'll be on. I'll be happy with that. Anyway, I've rattled on now for nearly six minutes, bloody hell. Right, peace out, and I'll see you Saturday.